Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today we have another book to read for you. Today book is Curious George and the Puppies from 1998. So let's get started. This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George went for a walk with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. When they sat down to rest, they noticed a tiny kitten peeking out from under a bush. The kitten looked frightened. Perhaps she is boss, said the man with the yellow hat. Together, he and George searched the park for the little kitten owner. But the kitten was all alone. This kitten is too young to be on her own, the man said. We should take her to the animal shelter where they can care for her and find her a home. So George and the kitten and the man with the yellow hat drove to the animal shelter. The director of the shelter was glad to see them. It was good of you to bring the kitten here, she said. We will be happy to take care of her. George gave the kitten to the director. Then he and the man with the yellow hat walked inside. Come in, the director said, but watch where you step. We have a large litter of puppies, and one had gotten out of his cage. We're still looking for him, so please be careful. She closed the door quickly behind him. George had never been to an animal shelter before. Animals of all kinds was being cared for here. George saw bunnies, cats, turtles, and guinea pigs. He even saw a snake. But he didn't see any puppies. George, I need to sign some papers, said the man with the yellow hat. Please stay here and don't be too curious. Just as the man with the yellow hat left the room, George heard barking. Maybe it was the puppies, but where was it coming from? George was curious. He followed the barking noise and found a room full of dogs. There were the yellow dogs, spotted dogs. Seek dogs and fluffy dogs. There were quiet dogs and yappy dogs, and even a dog without a tail. But where was the puppies? Then George saw a little waggy tail, then another, then another. Once George saw the puppies, he could not take his eyes off of them. He had the pet one. Here was puppy. Well, here was a puppy. The puppy liked George. George wanted to hold the puppy. Slowly, he opened the door. But before George could reach the puppies, the mother dog pushed the door open, and was off like a shot. George tried to close the door after her, but the puppies were too fast. There was nothing George could do. Puppies were everywhere. Puppy hid under the desk. Puppy barked at bunnies. One puppy played with a telephone cord. Another climbed on top of a cage to watch the other get into mischief. Soon all the dog was barking. The cat was meowing. And the bunny rustled into the corner of their cage. Oh no, cried the director, as she and the man with the yellow hat rushed into the room. Now all the puppies are out. The man with the yellow hat helped the director gather up the puppies and put them safely back in their cage. Soon all the animals settled down and were quiet. Is that for one who was so barking? It was the mother dog. What was she barking at? There was nothing here but a door. There must be something on the other side, thought George. He opened the door. It was the missing puppy. Everyone was happy to finally find the puppy. The director scooped him up and said, George, you certainly called a rusket, but if you hadn't let the puppies out, we might still be searching for this little one. Then she gave the puppies and their mother a snack. These puppies are now big enough to go, to go live with families who will take care of them. She said, do you want to take one home with you, George? 
George did. So that was George and the Puppy for 1998. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a good day with another video coming out real soon.